Yo, what is going on guys? It is Ugly Face Gaming here and welcome to my One Punch Man Season 2 Episode 6 review now. I know I've been kind of late with all of these reviews as of late, especially for Attack on Titan and One Punch Man. I'm really, really sorry. This is actually my last week of my junior year in the college. So I've been just wrapping up doing assignments, studying for tests. I believe like when I'm recording this, I only have one exam left. So that's why I kind of uh, deviated <laughs> from studying to make this review because I honestly just watched Episode 6 of One Punch man and i was like hey might as well since i already watched the episode might as well do the review before i continue on with my study so within this gameplay i am going to be showing more of gt goku because i feel like i haven't shown that much gt goku gameplay on this channel so as you guys can just basically listen to me talk or you can actually watch the gameplay in the background it's up to you guys but let us get straight into this now within episode six i don't know what it is with one punch man as of late in season two but there are so many names to remember like honestly i cannot remember any of these names for the life of me so i'm really sorry if i mention characters but i don't mention their names because honestly <laughs> there's so many characters that are being introduced that it's really really hard to keep up with all the names but obviously we last left off within the actual tournament that's going on we get a couple of matches from the tournament itself i believe we get like three or four matches from the martial arts tournament um obviously that one you know popular guy that a lot of people are saying is strong and like the main guy wants to kill apparently because he's good he actually managed to defeat lightning max i believe and then even snake which is uh class a i believe he's like top of class a or i don't know which rank he actually is he even stated like yo if he actually beat him maybe if i beat him maybe i could be considered you know top rank in terms of you know the class a hero so obviously when it comes to this you know popular fighter i believe he's probably going to be the main guy to actually defeat within this tournament because later on we do actually see that he won Nox <laughs> Snack, which is really crazy because he saw Saitama fight that one guy who wanted to kill that popular guy he saw him one punch him so even that popular guy was basically stating like yo maybe I should start one knocking people too since he's doing it himself and I even caught a lot of people off guard because you know Saitama obviously he told the martial artist you know give it all you've got and show me how martial artist fights and the guy obviously started saying oh I'm gonna break your knees from your knees I'm gonna break your torso punch you in the torso break all your bones and lastly I'm gonna touch your head and the crack your skull open obviously the skull is where Saitama actually has the wig on and even Saitama mentioned within the rules that he doesn't want people touching his head so once the guy touched his head it was basically over Saitama just basically just one punched him out and a lot of people are like extremely extremely like what the heck just happened especially sour face because sour face has been saying that saitama has been this rookie ever since they met one another before the tournament started and seeing that saitama one punched like the number one contender to actually win the tournament sour face is extremely confused and worried as to how strong saitama actually is and that was kind of that was basically it in terms of the tournament portion of it the rest of it was basically just a bunch of monsters attacking the cities obviously Geno's got the call when he was in the tournament he had to kind of leave the actual martial arts tournament to go deal with the monsters and this is where the hero association actually like acknowledges Geno's because there is like four or five monsters within that city i believe it was uh city c so Geno's managed to defeat all five of the five or four of the monsters like it was really insane obviously i believe like three of them he managed to defeat really really easily and then the fourth one was the one that gave him trouble which was the cockroach monster because the cockroach monster was super fast and every time he kind of turned around he managed to appear behind you genos managed to use his secret technique which was like this little paste that he has on his feet and it was really crazy because he even stated that he wanted to use it for sonic or not necessarily to use it against sonic but even he acknowledges that maybe he has to use all of his abilities like that acid to trap people because of you know foes are fast as sonic so it was really crazy. Genos honestly managed to defeat three of the monsters. That cockroach guy, I think he got away at the very end. And that's when, you know, the whole ground started to tremble. And Genos is like, oh, someone fast is approaching my way. And then from that little part, we go over to Fubuki, I believe it is. Or no, it was Hellish Blizzard, I believe she was facing that one girl that has the whip and with the whip they actually managed to control people so she actually took control of all of her like quote-unquote henchmen that were in her group and this is where we kind of see like a really really dark turn for blizzard because even she has flashbacks of saitama stating like yo you shouldn't really have an entourage behind you because maybe you know it's not necessarily being in a group that makes you as strong it's just your individual power and even here we get to see that those people since they were mind controlled they did you know tend to be a 
kind of like i don't know how to explain it but they were like a nuisance in some case because obviously they were in her group they got you know obviously mind control and they were taking her on so even like she noticed like man maybe i shouldn't really have people around me because they can actually be a liability and they might be more of a risk than a benefit and we did get to see her kind of get beat up by that monster which is crazy because hellish blizzard that has basically the same powers as tornado so it's kind of weird how someone like her managed to get defeated and then obviously the ground started to shake things started to explode and out came tornado tornado actually scared i believe like some of the monsters away so it, <laughs> and she even like that one girl with the whip was like oh henchman take care of her while i run away because honestly you don't want to mess with uh tornado because tornado has extremely extremely powerful techniques we did get to see this within the borrow fight where she actually just grabbed all of the missiles and shot them back to the ship so that was really really crazy and obviously all of the henchmen that were part of uh, blizzard group started to attack um tornado and tornado just blew them all off and she even stated to uh hellish blizzard like you shouldn't really have people like this like you could easily be one of the top heroes if you don't want to be pushing people like this around they're more of a liability than actually like benefiting you as a person so it a lot of people are telling blizzard that you know you shouldn't really be in a group that you should be fighting on your own accord and just be yourself because she is powerful we did get to see within this episode that she has a huge mind of herself like she really has a strong mind because even the girl managed to hit her with the whips and obviously if you get hit by the whip you get mind controlled hellish blizzard didn't get mind controlled at all she still kept her mind and she even like the monster even st uh, stated like oh my gosh like this is crazy how she's that strong in her mind that she's not being controlled by my whip power so uh, it was really crazy obviously there's a lot of things going on within one punch man it's really really fast paced right now because they're telling like three or four stories in one episode so obviously the saitama part when they're actually in the tournament so that's crazy how that one you know popular guy actually managed to just one kick uh snake out of the tournament so we have another person in the anime <laughs> series who actually just won kicks one punches people so that's crazy i really cannot wait because obviously the guy that saitama beat was like the number one contender to be the one to win the tournament so since saitama not saitama knocked him out i really cannot wait to see how saitama reacts to that guy because i don't think saitama actually realizes how strong that person actually is because all those times that that popular guy was actually fighting saitama was in the restroom you know as a funny running gag but that's really really crazy i really cannot wait to see who exactly is going to win between saitama and that popular guy because even geno states like yo this guy's really really powerful he's a really really good martial artist maybe he could show saitama the way but even geno's kind of states like i don't think he's as strong as master saitama so who knows we're gonna have to wait and see how exactly all of this goes down and honestly like from that we moved on to like the genos fighting the monsters so it's really cool how genos is getting his moment to shine and he's actually learning from his fights and you know learning that he does need all of these uh weapons at his disposal to defeat all of these enemies and honestly like the art and animation was a little bit off within this episode as well with the genos fighting scenes but overall it was really really good obviously that tornado and blizzard moment was really really cool as well we you know obviously blizzard learning that she doesn't need all of those henchmen they're more of like a liability than actually benefiting her as a whole so hopefully she realizes that and she ditches the henchman and she just like uses her own strength in her own accord she doesn't rely on other people to make herself look popular and just overall it's really really crazy i believe the episode ended with like garo looking at watchdog man which I i'm guessing is going to be one of the next fights that we're going to see in the next episode because honestly there is a lot of monsters and a lot of things going on so if it's going to be this fast paced that's going to be really really crazy because it's so hard to keep up with everything especially with the tournament the tournament that they actually showcasing showcased so many new characters that i honestly didn't even have time to remember all of their names all i saw was that some of them were winning and some of them were losing so I mean, it's so much going on right now but honestly the main thing is that saitama is still in the tournament monsters are still running amok and i'm guessing garo is going to face watchdog man so with that being said guys that's kind of like the overview of the episode i didn't go point by point by point because there's a lot going on within all of this i just wanted to cover the main points of the actual anime itself the actual episode and with that i'll leave you guys with the simple question who do you think is going to win between that one popular martial artist or Saitama? Because we saw Saitama one punch, the number one contender of the tournament to actually win. And then we saw that popular guy one kick snack. So <laughs> each one of them have their own one hit techniques. I really cannot wait to see who wins. Also, what do you think is going to happen within the next episode? Do you think we're going to get Watchdog Man versus Garo? Because I've 
I've heard that Watch Dog Man is a really, really strong hero, one of the top heroes. And even within the anime, it's been foreshadowing that he's a really, really tough hero. You know, obviously he's class as and so on and so forth. So do you think we're going to get that fight? And if we do get that fight, who do you think is going to win? And with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try so hard to kind of keep these episodes or like these videos that I'm making, you know, constant because it is kind of bad when a youtuber says he's going to be uploading videos and he doesn't upload anything at all so fingers crossed that after school is over i do have more time to actually make content for you guys it's been really really rough with all of these finals coming up like it's stressful but <laughs> that's my problem not your guys so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video if you do enjoy these type of reviews where i cover the main things to do with the episode make sure to like as well as subscribe for future content i'm gonna try to post attack on titan reviews more often as well when the episodes come out but we'll see how that goes but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video i'm gonna let the gameplay keep rolling peace I can only imagine how you must have yearned for this body even more now. Are you ready? Let's go! Useless! Useless! Come on, too sweet! Useless! Insolence! Easy.